DJ, stay ready so I don't have to get ready. I mean, that's the motto with you, and you showed that out there. That's a bit of fun to see some go down. Yeah, of course. Again, it's a little frustrating at the start of summer league because obviously draft picks and you know the, the teams invest a lot of money in these players. So you just got to come in, play a role, and as well stay ready. And then when you get your chance, you got to take full opportunity of it. Not everybody can do that when you arrive, when you've got all those other guys playing in front and then they sit down and you get a chance and first shot goes down, second shot goes down. How do you get mentally ready for that moment? I mean, it's just another day. Uh, I think I prepared long enough, especially this uh, off season. I kind of got to the US early, you know, put in a lot of work. And you just got to trust it. And yeah, it'll be frustrating at times, but you never give up on it. And yeah, when you get the opportunity to shoot, it goes in. Well, that was that was peak DJ, knocking down a couple of shots. We like to see that, but I needed you to talk me through it. So you knocked down a three ball, then you hit a tough step back. Offensive rebound next possession came down to you. Dude wasn't on you and you passed it off. What, what are you thinking there? Uh, I don't even know. I can't even remember that play, but I really should have shot it. But again, I'm just trying to play the right type of basketball. That's what I've been my whole life. But, you know, I take most of my opportunities, made my threes. Coaches were very happy. So, and we got the win. That's the most important one. So another summer league experience down. You had it in last year. Do you learn anything different this year? Is it very similar or what's going on? Uh, every, every team is different on how they go. So, you know, I'm lucky to get the chance with Washington, you know, kind of in a rebuilding sort of phase, you know, a lot of young guys. So I'm kind of one of the older guys on the team. So it's kind of weird, you know, X is the oldest and I'm right after him. So, you know, we just try to bring that championship experience. And obviously, yeah, we're two and two and we're not competing for the summer league title, but there's things we can teach the young guys on how to grow and then the, they teach us. And lastly, you mentioned X, you get to team up with Cooksey. We know he only played two games, but that must add a little bit more excitement to a summer league trip. Yeah, I mean, I, I said it before to Kane, it was, we're inseparable and we've been like that for the past three weeks. So it's kind of cool to have him around because we get to, you know, go out and, you know, get dinner, chill, you know, play the tables a little bit and stuff like that. So, you know, just having a good teammate like that, I've pretty much been with him since high school. So we're just going to continue the journey together. I know you ran into an old teammate, championship winning teammate with Jalen Adams as well with the signing with the Sydney Kings. Yeah. It's exciting for Sydney, it's exciting for JA. It was a lot to catch up with him. Uh, he's, you know how Jay is, he's cool, calm and goofy, so um, no, it's good, you know, good to see him and his brother and yeah, I look forward to watching the Sydney Kings again, I know Chris Bongrass does a you know, fantastic job and yeah, the Kings will be really good this year. Mate, it's always good to see you perform like that. I appreciate it, thanks brother.